coming to paperback and e-readers from the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis Comes the Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women are becoming lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Pre-order your copy of The Woman Crisis on Amazon.com today. One of my viewers wanted me to do another installment in the Beta Males in History series. And in this video, he wanted me to talk about two beta male fathers who took the lives of their families, your Jeffrey R. McDonald and Lyle Eugene or Jean Kaidel. Now, both of these men fit the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And when it comes down to your Lyle Eugene or Jean Kaidel, he definitely fits that pattern and profile to the letter because he started out by getting involved with Diane Kidder, who was a single mother back in 1956. Now, oftentimes, your beta males, they will get involved with single mothers because what they're looking for is an easy woman to get involved with, and they're also looking for a woman that they can go out here and be able to easily control in a codependent relationship because these men lack a lot of self-confidence and because they lack self-confidence they go out here and get involved with women that they think they can get some some power over and in the case of your Diane Kidder she was a single mother who was basically staying with her family so your Lyle Eugene Kaidel who was considered to be a smooth talking guy was easily able to charm your Diane and persuade her to marry him and then move to Phoenix, Arizona, where they had three more children over a period of five years. Now, according to some reports, the relationship wound up deteriorating because your Lyle Eugene or Jean Kaidel was out here having affairs with other women and had left your Diane basically alone to take care of the four Kaidel children. And the relationship had deteriorated to the point where Diane eventually was looking to separate from your Lyle Eugene or Jean Kaidel, and your Jean had moved into his own apartment. Now, allegedly on September 17th, your Diane had met with your Lyle Kaidel to discuss a possible divorce where they would divide the property and make arrangements for visitation for the children and on that very night of that dinner where they met your diane took jean to his apartment and there is where she met a man she had been dating casually for a drink now this whole meeting this man possibly was the thing that led to your jean winding up trick simmer going from simmering and boiling in anger to eventually winding up exploding in a rage because oftentimes when you have a beta male, beta males are very quint possessive of women even after they're looking to break up with them because many of these males, they wind up getting a, wanting to see a woman not as a person but as property and they don't like the idea of their property in the hands of another man and what happens is is that this triggers their competitive jealousy and that competitive jealousy could have been the thing that led to the to your Lyle Eugene or Jean Kaidel exploding in a rage because she went to go out and have a drink with this man who she had been dating for some time and again your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel heard about this and saw this man and this is the thing that possibly led to him getting angry and his anger started to get start to turn into rage when he called the Kaidel home to check on the children and learned that the mother had not returned from her outing so rather than leave the kids alone your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel wound up driving to the home to look after the children and then he then confronted his wife and they had an argument and it's alleged by one of the daughters that she saw your Lyle Jean Kaidel hit his wife Diane 
and she fell down, and then eventually she said she also heard him digging a hole in the backyard. So what happened with your Lyle Jean Guidel is that he exploded in this rage, and he wound up taking the life of his wife by hitting her, and the reason why he possibly hit her was because he was angry about the fact that she was moving on with another man, and he had already seen this man, and he was like, he was mad about that. So this happens with a lot of beta males. They get very angry when their exes move on from them because they want the ex to stay there and so that they can have their smooth world. And that's what these guys want. They want to have their smooth world where they can go out here and be the whoremonger male who can go out here and have all of the women. But if one of those women decides to go out here and have a relationship after leaving them, this triggers a anger inside of these men, and these men look to go out here and, ha and harm that woman, and possibly harm the man that they got involved with. But because your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel wanted to have a smooth world, what he wanted to do was go out here and dig a hole in the ground, bury his wife's body in that ground, then pour concrete over that um, hole he put in the ground, and then go on and move back into the house with the children before starting to make a plan so that he could go out here and, and be completely free of his family. Because what beta males want to do in a lot of cases is they want to go out here and be the whoremonger male and have all of the women. So what they want to do to be able to have the smooth world and justify going out here and having all of those women is they go out here and take the lives of their children. And it is alleged that your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel basically set a fire to his home and that that fire that he set on his home wound up being the thing that wound up taking the lives of two of his four children, which and those two girls, um Susie and I think um, Kelly wound up losing their lives in that fire as your Susie wound up protecting her sister, trying to save her life, but sadly it cost her her life. And that same fire led to Lori basically winding up being badly burned. And th th this didn't matter to Lyle Jean Kaidel because Lyle Jean Kaidel basically wanted a smooth world for himself with no conflicts coming from a family, no problems coming from a family, or obstacles coming from a family, to him being able to go out here and be the whoremonger male he wanted to be by going out here to get with all the women. Because your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel thought he had a mouthpiece, and he thought that because he was a good talker, he would be able to talk his way into another relationship once his family was take, was dis, was killed in this whole situation. And he basically wound up leaving his family and went on with his life until eventually a repressed memory from Lori came to the surface. And once that memory came to the surface, it eventually led to police finding out that your Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel wound up being the one who murdered his wife and that he was wound up being prosecuted and convicted for the murder of his wife after they found her skeleton in the ground almost 27 years later with a nylon stocking wrapped around her neck. They basically found the bones of Diane Kaidel in the ground under the house and they found a tree root coming out of her skull. That's how long her body had been buried in the ground, and that's the kind of thing that beta males will do. They will bury a, they try to bury all of the evil stuff that they do in order to have their smooth world, and what they will do is go out here and try to bury everything as related to hiding the evidence as related to a crime that they committed, instead of being open and honest and just saying that they want to be that whoremonger male, what they want to do is put on the face of a family man so that they can be considered respectable to others, 
but in actuality, these men, they really want to go out here and be warmongers. They want to be able to get with all the women. And when they see a man getting with a woman that they have, that's when these men start to get into their jealousy. And that's when their jealousy turns to rage. And that's when these men look to murder the woman that they're involved with because they don't want any other man touching women that they've got because they want to have those women in a harem so that they can have a smooth world where they can go out here and have these women on demand. And your Lyle Jean Kaidel was caught and convicted after your Lori's memories came to reveal the evidence as related to his actions in 1967. And your Lyle Jean Kaidel eventually went from being a man to a man in crisis to a man in prison who died in prison, I think, in 2004, and justice was meted out as related to his case. Now, in the case of your Jeffrey R. McDonald, your Jeffrey R. McDonald was alleged to have murdered his pregnant wife and two daughters in February of 1970 while he was serving as an Army Special Forces physician. Now, your Jeffrey R. McDonald is one of those rare cases where you have a beta male who came out of a home with a father, and this boy was the second of three children with a father who was a strict disciplinarian who demanded obedience and achievement from his family. Now, a lot of times when you have homes where the father demands obedience and achievement, this possibly can lead to some males turning into beta males because many of these males, what they do like beta males do is suppress their feelings and they suppress everything about them even though they're out here achieving. And that suppression is what leads to the beta male rage that many of these men have. And even though this man was voted in high school to be the most popular and most likely to succeed, he really didn't have the life skills to be able to navigate life and handle that success. Now, your Jeffrey R. McDonald also went out here and had another trait that beta males have, which is called one-itis. And this beta male, towards the end of his eighth grade, got involved with a girl named Colette, who eventually wound up becoming his wife. Now, your Jeffrey R. McDonald, after getting involved with this woman when she was a teenager, eventually met her again as he was out here going to college and eventually wound up marrying Colette, who had gotten married, I mean, gotten, who had gotten pregnant, and then they, she left college to go raise their child, and you, as your Jeffrey R. McDonald went into medical school, and he, he went on to go into the military, and it was when he was in the military and his wife was pregnant with their third child, that's when your Jeffrey R. McDonald allegedly went and exploded in a rage and wound up murdering his entire family. Now, I believe what happened in the case of Jeffrey R. McDonald was he was getting frustrated about the having to take the responsibilities of a family, and after seeing that his wife was going to be pregnant with this third child, this is where he came up with the motive for murder and take and murdering his entire family because even though he had tremendous success in the military and had gone up to officer status what happened with your Jeffrey R McDonald was he wasn't able to have that smooth world that he wanted and because he couldn't have that smooth world that he wanted he wanted to be able to get rid of his family because he could not stand all of the conflicts and obstacles of having a large family. So, he, as he was getting frustrated about being a father and a head of household, he wanted to be able to abdicate those responsibilities and be able to feel like he was justified in doing this. So, this is why he wanted to take the life of all of his family, because he wanted to go back to being a single man because he had been having affairs on his wife, and because he wanted to be a whoremonger male similar to Lyle Jean or Eugene Kaidel, he wanted to go out here 
and be able to have all of those women without having to feel guilty about walking away from his family. So this is where he came up with this whole plan to take the lives of his family. And then what he wanted to do as he came up with this plan and after he took the lives of his family, he wanted to go out here and blame it on some so-called acid heads. And he wanted to say that the acid heads broke into his home and murdered his entire family and left him there. But many of the MPs found that story to be completely illogical because it, with this being an army base, the army base would have lots of security. So they saw that there was a hole in his story. Moreover, they also looked at the evidence in your Jeffrey R. McDonald story and the, and the evidence basically pointed to your Jeffrey R. McDonald when they saw the way that the pajama top that was that that his wife Colette had over her body what had the holes were in it and they also saw that there was serious holes in your Jeffrey R McDonald story as related to the murder of the two children and the fact that he had no defensive wounds on his body at, that or similar to those that his wife and child had so there were a lot of holes in Je Dr. Jeffrey R. McDonald's story as related to things, and this really showed that it really was a plan by him to murder his family, and the motive for murder for him was that he wanted to abdicate responsibility from his family, and he wanted to get back out here and get with all of the women out here, and it, he wanted to go out here and be the whoremonger male and have all of the women and again, in order for him to be a whoremonger male and sate his conscience and have his smooth world where he could go back to have other women, what your Jeffrey R. McDonald did was he murdered his family because he wanted to abdicate that responsibility. And again, this is what beta males reason in their minds because the beta male, in order for him to be able to do the things that he wants to do, he wants to go out here and lie about things, hot, destroy the evidence, and deny that these things actually happen. Whenever there's something that makes the beta male's world look like there's some sort of tarnish on his record, what he wants to do is he wants to go out here and erase that whole thing that makes them believe that they look bad. And in the case of Lyle Jean Eugene Kaidel and Jeffrey R. McDonald, these men wanted to go out back into the world and get with women and have casual sexual relationships with lots of women. So their motive for murder was going out here and destroying their families so that they could have the smooth road to go out here and be the whoremongers they wanted to be. They didn't want to have the responsibility of being a father, and they didn't want to have the guilt of, as related to them, as related to abandoning their families. So they went out here and took the lives of their children and their wives so that they can go out here and be out here with the women that they wanted to be with. This is typical of your beta male, and this is what makes a beta male a very twisted individual. He will go out here and take the lives of his whole family, all because either a woman is paying attention to him, a woman is out here he wants to get with, or there's a whole lot of women he's seeing. He will say, I want to go out here and take their lives instead of just taking away and leaving his family. He doesn't have the courage to walk away from his family because he's basically a coward at the end of the day. And when you're dealing with beta males, they are notorious cowards because all they want to do is go out here and pump and dump, smash and dash, but they don't have the courage to go out here and say that up front. No, what these guys want to do is say that they want to go out here and build a family, mislead a woman, and then when things become too overwhelming for them, what they want to do is destroy the lives of those people never having any sort of regard for their lives. That is how sick and twisted these beta males are. And again, 
This is why these men are some of the most dangerous to get involved with, because if a relationship isn't making their world smooth, and they have to actually take responsibility for the people in their life, they will look to take their lives instead of just saying, okay, I'm, I don't want to go out here and be responsible anymore because the guilt gets to them and that's the main reason why they want to go out here and hurt their families. Because when you're dealing with these beta males, they are, again, some of the most depraved individuals out there and that's why these men in crisis are some that you really need to look out for when you're out here in these streets because these guys are extremely dangerous and they are not somebody they, they put on a nice face but behind that nice face is a sinister grim and that grim is something you need to watch out for because you might be a victim of these men if you don't watch out for yourself now this was a video requested by one of my viewers and if you want to request a video, you can send a donation to the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box, or you can send a donation to the PayPal by clicking the link in the description box, and if I know something about that subject, I will make that video for you. And if you want to learn more about what makes beta males like this participate in their violent behavior and their dysfunctional behavior, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBookstore, Barnes & Noble, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, read, and subscribe. Now available for the first time on Google Play, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are falling apart in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy on Google Play today.